Yo, how you guys doing? Good? Good. So this is a sequel video to my previous one. Tyria has so many hidden areas that I just enjoy showing it off. The world itself is just extremely fun to explore. In an effort to burn time as we get closer to End of Dragon's launch, these hidden area videos are quite a lot of fun to make, so you know the drill. Five more hidden areas in Guild Wars 2. Like last time, they are all central Tyria focused. Okay, let's go. So for our first stop, we're here in Divinity's Reach. We're actually right down here in front of the Dead End. This was added in Living World Season 1, which you can no longer play or do. And I'm not sure if this place is even needed for map completion anymore, to be honest. I'm not sure if you need it or not. Most people can get it just by running down this hall, you'd unlock this the point of interest. What a lot of people don't know, though, is that you can actually still go in there. Now, why would you? What's the purpose? Is there a point? Currently? No. There's no reason. This used to be a place that you would meet up with Marjorie and Casimir and a bunch of other characters way back in Season 1. It's a pity they never used it again because this instance still exists. But yeah, it's just the dead end bar. There's not much here. It's its, its own instance, so you're never going to find any other players in here. You can't use your chair, so no cloud. But uh, it's interesting. Um, you might be able to find some fun with it if you bring like your own friend here and you hang out here in the bar. If you like roleplay, perhaps. But yeah. It's just a neat little area that's still in the game that doesn't do anything currently, but I really wish it would. The point of interest is still on the map, but the instance still exists, so come on, Arena Net, get to it. For this little hidden area, you want to go to Sparkfly Fen, and we're right, you know, right about here from Ocean's Gullet Waypoint. Now, the cool thing about this one is. Yeah, it's a little bit, well, with mounts it's obviously nothing, but on foot it's a little bit of a trek and it's kind of cool. So you would go through here, you know, and you'd watch out for your things and you would just come in. Now this itself, not super secret inherently, considering you'd have to come here to get this hero challenge. But a lot of people probably just leave after getting it, not knowing that you can just keep going. So what you want to do is just, just keep exploring and just keep going. And you can, you can come up here, you can, you can see this stuff, this whole area is pretty neat, pretty cool. Um, but this is, this is just the start. So you can go over here, you can do this, and you can do some basic platforming. You can just jump over on these things right here. And then you can, whoa, you can keep going. It's pretty neat. So then you can go down here. Go through the spider webs, come out over here. And then and now you're up here, which is pretty neat. You, know, you don't want to fall down, so you would jump and you would just keep moving. And your goal would be probably that vista, I'd imagine, as well. You would come all the way here to get this vista. But then you would probably be like, okay, I'm going to hop down here and get this rich platinum, which is great. Rich plat is good. But over here, once again, got to look behind the foliage, behind the trees, behind the green. What's this? Whoa. It's like a whole little area back here. It's a little, little neat area. Once again, I'm pretty sure, I think this area is used for some story missions, I'm sure, part of the personal story. And as a lot of you guys have explained in the last video, there's probably some type of legendary precursor quest line that probably brings you here. I wouldn't be surprised if there's something here you need to get or bring something here to interact with. But yeah, there's like this little ruins in here. I wouldn't even know why these runes would be here in lore. I'm not really sure, but yeah, just another tiny little hidden area. No real reason to be here, but it's behind those walls, hidden away, tucked away. It's neat, it's just a cool little spot. So for this one, we're in Lion's Arch, but not just Lion's Arch, we're in the Guild Initiative instance that you can go into. See how it's, I'm in the little instance. I don't know how often you come in here often. I don't come in here often. I like this place. It's cool. Kind of gives me some old vibes of the old Lion's Arch. But uh, yeah, well, in this place, there's a little thing you can do. It's very small. It's very simple. Doesn't lead to much or do anything, but it just seems kind of cool. And there's no other. I, I just like it. I, I'm a sucker for these things. Um, you can come over here. And what's this? You can expect the candle. I love it. I love, I just like torches or candles or hidden wall mounts that move. Hmm, seems a little loose. Let's fiddle with it. Whoa. Sliding bookcases will never not be cool. I'm sorry. I want a sliding bookcase in real life. They're too cool. 
too cool. But yeah, once you do that, you can come over here, you can come down here, and you actually appear on the other side of the glass, where if there's people over there, they could actually see you on this side. Yeah, and you can just come down here, and like there's this little hidden vault. It's like this, you can imagine this is where the initiative stores all their funds. See all that money? This is where they hide their funds behind that wall, I guess. Yeah, very simple little hidden area, nothing crazy by any means. But who doesn't like a moving staircase? I mean, a, a moving bookcase. I mean, hidden staircases are just as rad, don't get me wrong. But yeah, moving bookcase, it was pretty cool. I don't know, just one of those things that I think is really neat. Uh, I love those type of things. Now this area is pretty cool, and I actually just recently learned about this one. So thank you very much, Reddit, for that. Um, I don't I don't really interact with the guild, so I haven't done guild treks, but apparently guild treks has a lot of different things in lots of different areas you can go to. And this area up here is one of those areas where the trek would bring you, but there's otherwise no reason to be here, and it's its own little secret area. So, here, on this map, uh, Blood Tide Coast, right about down here from the Romanda Waypoint, lined up right about here with the Rise, uh, Rise Wild Hills, Right about here, if you look over here, you can find a little uh, break in the in the you know stone. And you can come in here, and there's like a hidden little grove. Look at this. This is really cool, huh? I mean, I think so. I never knew about this area. This is so cool. I don't know. What's the point? There's no NPCs or anything here. It's just it's like its own tiny little place. Yeah, I don't know. It's just cool. And there's like this little table here. Uh, clearly, ArenaNet didn't think about it either because you can't actually sit on these. You need your own chair. I only bring clouds. So this is my seat, I guess. But yeah, uh, probably another good, decent place to role play maybe with somebody if you want to bring them here. Quiet little place. I thought it was just really, really cool. I never knew about this. This is one of the newest ones for me. Uh, the cool thing about making these videos and sharing them with sharing the video with you guys is that I learn new stuff too. So that's, it's pretty cool. But yeah, another little like hidden secret grove area. I'm guessing the trek brings you by. I don't know, it's a cool place. Just another hidden little area. Now this last one might be less of a hidden area, but more of like a hidden thing you can do to actually unlock a skin for your account. It's the only way to get it. Besides maybe an account unlock, but you wouldn't want to waste out one of these. You want to just go out here and get it yourself. So, out here, in Iron Marches, you go down here from the uh, Brand Watch Encampment Waypoint. You come down here, see where this divides, and you go down through the divide. The Great Divide. So anyway, so yeah, you come, hop down here, and you'll realize, oh, you can actually come through here. What's over here? So you can come all the way over, way, all the way down, and you can find these tanks. And you can find these char working on it. But what is what does all this mean? Well, what's cool about it is if you talk to Riff Suit Claw right here, let's kill him real quick. So when you're here, you can talk to this Char, Riff Suit Claw. I've already done it on my character, so it won't let me. But if you talk with him, he's gonna put you on a challenge to try to fix the tank. And what you have to do to fix the tank is interact. You have to interact with it in a certain way. Uh, you can either just keep trial and error until you get it, or you can look it up on on the wiki. Uh, I can't see it because again, it's only once per character. But when you do it, you actually, it's like a tiny little event. It's not like an event that pops up, but it's a little thing that you can do. And when you do it, you actually get a piece of armor, a skin for your account. And I'll show you. It's nothing crazy, but it is unique. So you get this thing called Iron Tailpipe Bandana. because That's like the name of their group, the Iron Tail Pipe. But uh, yeah, it's a uh, bandana, as you can see. It's all worn down, but it's a unique skin, and this is how you get it. You get it from uh, doing this little thing over here, which I think is just kind of cool. I wish there was more things like this in Guild Wars where you can get unique skins and cool things from, once again, exploring the world. So yeah, just another cool little hidden area. And here we are. That was five more hidden areas in Guild Wars 2, centered around Central Tyria. I'm sure there's a lot more hidden areas once we reach the expansions and living world and whatnot. But this has been about Central Terria. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one. Soon, we'll go to Cantham. I honestly can't wait. <laughs>
Anyway, till then, stay super.